Hi, I'm Rick, and bra, it's so good for the price. With the release of Windows 11, Microsoft is stepping up protection for your PC in today's online and work from home world, making securing your PC a necessity. Two of the requirements for PCs to install Windows 11 are that both TPM and Secure Boot must be enabled in your system. Today, we'll look at both settings in BIOS that may need to be enabled, and it's a cool breeze if you follow our guide. Speaking of a cool breeze for your PC, it's our sponsor, Noctua. Noctua's Redux Edition offers premium case cooling with industry-grade hydro bearings and vortex control blade tip notches for supremely quiet and exceptional long-term operation, and they won't break the bank. Check them out at the link below. Lock screen boring? We made one. Free download, link in the description. We'll be doing this with an MSI B550 Tomahawk, which is an AMD board, and we also tested with an Intel Z390 Tomahawk, a B360 Gaming Arctic, and an older Z270 X Power Gaming, and this works with all these models. By the way, don't forget to give us a quick follow on social media and subscribe and bell, all that good stuff. And if you have tried your own upgrade or have questions, leave your comments down below. So it's quick and easy to do this in BIOS with a few steps, and we'll give you some troubleshooting tips as well when you're ready to get Windows 11. If you're doing this now, having another device like a laptop or a phone with this video will make following this walkthrough nice and easy. So why does Windows 11 need this extra security? Quickly, Secure Boot is part of UEFI, which is the newer interface between your BIOS and your OS. Secure Boot resists infection from malware, including bootloaders. The older type is CSM, and that's why we'll change the OS interface to UEFI first. The Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, are embedded chips on most motherboards and enterprise-grade notebooks, and they secure hardware with keys. If you bought a PC after 2016, it should have TPM 2.0, but if it's older, it may have TPM 1.2, or maybe no TPM at all. So tapping Delete to get into BIOS, we'll go to Advanced Mode by pressing F7. In Settings, go to Advanced, then Windows OS Configuration. Check to make sure the BIOS mode is set to UEFI. If it's not, you'll need to change this to UEFI first, and then hit F10 to save and exit. In slightly older BIOS versions, this may be listed as Windows 10 WHQL support, and older boards may have a Windows 8.1 slash 10 WHQL support line, which will enable. At this point, it's important to hit F10 to save and restart, and tap delete to get back into BIOS. If you try to install the secure boot keys before doing this, the end dialog is actually to reset without saving, which will put you in a loop where the Windows OS still has CSM selected and it'll block your enabling of secure boot. So save and restart first. Also, when you change CSM to UEFI, your computer may restart a few times or actually beep a few times and not post. If you wait 30 seconds without anything happening on screen, just turn off your power supply, Wait 10 seconds, turn it back on, and hit power and start tapping delete again. By the way, if you miss tapping delete and go into Windows, holding Alt and pressing F4 a couple of times will give you the shutdown box. Press the down arrow to select restart, hit enter, and start tapping delete again to get into BIOS. Please take a moment to hit like, get subscribed, and click the bell. It supports us, and you'll get notified of our latest videos and reviews. Now we've restarted using UEFI, we'll go to Settings, Advanced, Windows OS Config, and down to Secure Boot and hit Enter. And we'll install the keys first. Going to Secure Boot Mode, we'll change from Standard to Custom, then the options below will turn Active. We'll choose Enroll All Factory Default Keys. The first dialog confirms installing Factory Default Keys and the second will ask to reset without saving. You can click no, but you may need to save and exit if you have any issues with the next step. Now we've installed the keys, we can select Secure Boot and choose Enabled. Pressing the Escape key a few times will get us back to the main settings menu. And now we'll select Security, and then Trusted Computing. Then we'll put Security Device Support to Enabled. We won't see an update in status information until we hit F10 to save config and exit, which we'll do now. If you want to verify what you've done to see the new status information, tap delete to get into BIOS and going back to settings, 
security, trusted computing, you should be able to see the status information listing TPM 2.0 as being active. We'll boot up into Windows and we can check if TPM is working. Click on search and type in tpm.msc and hit enter. The status will say ready for use and in the middle column, if you scroll right, it will give you the specification version, which is 2.0. So how do you see if Secure Boot is working in Windows? Just click search and type MS Info and hit enter. And halfway down the list, you'll see Secure Boot state and this should say on. Now you can see if you're ready for Windows 11 in search or your browser with upgrade to the new Windows 11 OS. If you hit Control F to find, start typing in download and then click download app. Run it, accept, install, and then finish. By the way, these instructions were accurate at the time that we wrote this, but since then Microsoft is working on or has pulled this PC health check at the time of production. But we clicked check now and we got a green tick. With Secure Boot and TPM enabled, you should be ready for Windows 11. That PC Health check tool did give false negatives and really did nothing to tell you about what you need to fix, so we hope that Microsoft has a better version out soon. Don't forget PCs older than five years or laptops lacking TPM 2.0 may have issues trying to upgrade to Windows 11. So that wasn't too hard and hopefully this helped you get secured and ready. And if you're thinking about an AMD or other motherboard, then clicking through our affiliate links below to shop will help us here with no extra cost to you. And follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Techspin Review, and we have posts up at techspinreview.com. We have tech reviews on the channel, so be sure to check those out too. And thanks to Noctua for being our sponsor with this episode with an extensive lineup of high static pressure fans, perfect for cooling your rig. Check them out at the link in the description. We're interested to hear what you want to see you reviewed. Let us know and we'll try and get to it. And leave your best episode opening lines and we might just pick yours next time. Please take a second to hit like, subscribe, the bell, and let us know how we can improve. We read and reply to a lot of comments. So if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us below. And we really appreciate you watching this far. Thanks for your time and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now. Microsoft is set st stepping up protection. Make sure the BIOS mode is set to UEA. You'll need to change this to you. you. <laughs> the first dialogue and leave your best or <laughs> clicking through our affiliate links below. I can't talk today. <clears throat> it is late. Check them out at the link in the descri description. Last word. <laughs>